What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar with Cesar Gets Crypto, and we are talking about Blue Zell today. This one comes to us at the request of Mr. Danny Boy himself. Danny, we're doing this one for you, man. Um, you know, you were talking about it in the Discord, so I'm, I'm, uh, I figured I'd, I'd do a little video on it just to give a more up to date uh, thought process on it. You know, my thoughts basically since back here have been that it was going to go down. And for about four days, I was right, and then the rest of it, I've been wrong. You know, day after day, it just keeps going up. It just can't be stopped, man. But I do think, I really do think that this decreasing volume along with price increasing like this, it just, it can't, it's not sustainable. And something like this would imply a pretty big dump. And if it's not, if it doesn't happen fast, you know, it can happen over, over an extended amount of time. Sure, whatever. I would expect it more to be fast because if it's moving like this when there's no volume, What's it going to move like when there is volume? I would assume it's going to move very fast, right? So um, I don't know if we'll get this much volume or probably probably less volume, but who knows? Who cares? You know, that that's not the important thing. The important thing is that when volume starts to increase, whenever it stops decreasing, I would expect it to be to the opposite effect of what we've been doing recently. Um, and likely, likely, I would think that we would at least come down to this kind of bottoming area of this overall consolidation range, which would be at about 7.8 cents, if not potentially at least what somewhere around like 10 cents right there, right? Something in this range would make sense to me. And if we zoom out, I've been talking about this fib, uh, what's it called? Fib retracement range scale. Is that what's it? I don't know, scale. Let's call it a scale, whatever. Um, from bottom to top, the 382 there is right there at about 11.66 cents. So we could, and, and this used to be lower. It used to be a little bit lower. You know, down here at this top, before we actually broke through this, the 382 lined up very well with that previous area, the top of that area that I was talking about. But we could, you know, potentially bottom out at the 382, maybe even just a little bit below it, right around 11 cents, because we also have this previous closing high area and a previous resistance area, previous support area coming in here on Blue Zell. So this, this like 11, let's call it like 11 cent to 11.66 cent area is definitely something to pay attention to. Though I do think, again, looking at it on a daily perspective, it would be very common and to, to the expectation, expectation, not expectation, I'm sorry, expectation, proper English, um, that, that we would go down here. But maybe we don't, you know, maybe we do bottom out somewhere around 11 cents or like 12 cents somewhere around there that that could happen as well so just kind of keep your eyes on that um right now i'm more in favor of believing in this because i want some cheap blue zell no that's just because of, of personal experience whenever you break out of these ranges to the downside you tend to go back to the bottom of the range itself um before finding before finding new highs right and i think that it would be an overall higher low so i don't think that we would actually go to the bottom of this range but maybe so more so in it if not potentially literally bouncing right off the top of it um but you know nothing's nothing's has to be a certain way things can change overnight and i've been wrong about this thing like day in and day out for like the last i don't know how many weeks now probably it's 19 14 literally two weeks yeah okay so Anyways, looking at this thing, um, I do think it's going down. I don't think we need bearish divergence to go down. You know, we've had we've had moments, and I've shown this in a bunch of my videos talking about Blue Zell, where, uh, you know, here, we, to a certain degree, we had bearish divergence, but also, you know, we were building higher highs coming into this, so we didn't. That's arguable, debatable, but nonetheless, still, you had dying volume while price was building up, right? And where did you go, actually? You went down to the bottom of this like little flat range here, right where you had your, your big volume come in, you actually went to the base that you had before you had that big volume come in, right? Where's the base whenever we had this big volume? I guess before we had the big volume, it was here. So the potential to go down there, I guess, is there, but I don't, I don't think we're gonna have that, right? So this, this is actually a more bearish kind of scenario, although ultimately you did have a higher low and ultimately you did go lower. But what I'm really trying to focus on, guys, I'm just, I'm talking too much, what I'm really trying to focus on is the fact that volume was dying, price continued upwards, and then we went down, right? Right around the purple line, actually, which, by the way, this purple line on the daily is right there at around $0.08, cents, which is at the bottom of this, and we did go a little bit below it. So as the days go on and this climbs, going a little bit below it would line us up right there um, to kind of coincide with that there. We had a top here without bearish divergence. We had a top here without bearish divergence. Um, you don't need, and I think here... We did not have bearish divergence either, and we topped. Here we did. 
Um, but what do all of these plate things have in common, you know, besides this one here? I guess even this one here, huh? If you're looking at it, volume here increased on this day, and then we went up higher the next day, and volume actually died off, and then we started to go down. Here, volume was increasing throughout all of it, and we still went down, whatever. Volume was decreasing here throughout all this, and then we started to go down as volume picked up. So I really do think that sooner or later, probably sooner, we are due for some downside. Um, I definitely think it's going to shit the bed, man. I'm, I'm kind of in favor of believing that, you know, I've been saying for a lot of cryptos, like I don't think that it's going to be one way or another, that it's going to be dramatically pumping or dramatically dumping. But for this one, I do think a dramatic dump is in store. If we take this thing on a weekly look and we see our RSI, actually, I want to go to, I'm on the USD pairing, but I want, or USDT pairing, but I want to go to the USD pairing on Binance. This has more historical data. That's why we're going to use it. If we look at the RSI specifically, and I was talking about this in the Discord, actually. Um, which, by the way, if you guys want to join the Discord, I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave a link for that in the description, so you can do that. Um, because I'm, I'm not making videos all day, but I do check the Discord from time to time periodically, and uh, I try to answer questions accordingly. You know, I try. I definitely try to. Uh, you know, if you guys have questions, I try to be there. If I have questions, I ask you guys too. You know, like it's not or like I, I like to hear your opinions, but. Uh, it's just, it's a good, I think, resource to have for all of us who are just trying to figure things out and bounce ideas off each other. Um, I'll leave a link for it in the description. But looking at the RSI, we've been up this high once before, actually a little bit higher, right? We came close over here. If we consider this like the true peak, then we've been up here one, two, three times, maybe one, two, three, four times, you know. But nonetheless, this is the second most overbought that we've ever been. What, hap what happened the time that we were overbought, that we were the most overbought we'd ever been? Well, when we were up here, quite literally, it was on this. This week here was the, uh, the week that we were the most overbought. It was that week there. Um, I'm going to draw a bubble. I meant to draw a bubble. I'm sorry. I like bubbles. Bubbles are fun. I, that's that's a line off of uh, Finding Nemo. I like bubbles. Um, I, I don't know if that's actually what he says, but he says bubbles a lot. Anyways, the main thing that I'm trying to say is this area here is where this area was. It coincided with this. And what did we do afterwards? Well, from a top to a bottom perspective, we went down about 78%. To put it in perspective for what we're doing now, a 78% drop would be rather dramatic. And I have been saying a dramatic drop, but I don't know if we're going to see something that dramatic, right? A 78% drop would actually take us lower than this low here. And I, I wouldn't expect that. Um, Though I would compare this probably closer to what we experienced here. We broke above the purple line. We were below the 50, just like we are now. We're technically a little bit below the 50, right? Just barely. Um, and back here, we were actually well below the 50, but we hugged the purple line all the way down um, and continued moving down, right? And then here on these peaks, you, you didn't finish off. You didn't top off here. You actually continued to go higher. And from there, you had a dramatic drop, sure. But even in the midst of this, where this little peak was here, from top to bottom, you did manage to drop 57%. So 57%, 78%, you know, somewhere right in between that would be, I guess, 68%, right? 67.5%. Uh, and from the current top, if we're assuming that this is the top, I'm not, I'm not going to assume that it is either way. Just going with what we have now. I mean, it could be. I'm going to say it goes higher. That way, maybe it goes down, right? Just keep proving me wrong. It's going to go higher, right? You know? Um, anyways, 64%, uh, somewhere like right in the middle of that range, 67% even, would take us down to around $0.07. Cents. Sure. Maybe we do closer to like a 57% drop where we go down to around $0.09 cents or $0.10. Cents. Sure. We could, again, going to around like 11.3 cents, 11 cents, 11.5. That's anywhere from like a 40 to a 50% drop, kind of in that area, um, which I still think would be fine. That is a significant drop in itself. But ultimately, guys, anytime that we've had these tops in the overbought zone on the weekly, they have uh, marked, you know, relative tops in the high as well. Even if we continue moving upwards, it's still got you've, you've still got significant price action to follow. This happened in a very very short amount of time. I wonder what we did back there. This was in February of 2021. Let's check it out. Let's check it check it out. February over here, right, right there. That's the one. So looking at this price action here in February, I just want to see if it's comparable to what we're experiencing now, right? 
Um, nope, volume was, and you can see here where the volume is increasing actually as you're going up. Volume did increase as you went down, but actually it it spiked here on this almost bullish engulfing candle. So that should have been a signal in itself. It was actually decreasing on its way down. And you got a higher low, kind of a double bottom, whatever. But notice how when you crashed, if this was like your overall move up, like you had your initial move up here, you consolidated and had like a weak leg up afterwards, you went all the way back down to like the bottom of this range of consolidation, right? And that's why I really think, you know, just seeing this kind of stuff time and time again, I really would expect that we go somewhere near the bottom of this. It lines up with the purple line pretty well as well. So um, that would make sense to me. Looking at the four hour, there's no there's no bearish divergence anymore, guys. It was there. It was present on the daily on the four hour. Um, and now it's just been eliminated everywhere except the one hour. Apparently, we do have double bearish divergence. This is definitely diverging. Um, that is true bearish divergence at its finest. We've broken out of this ascending trend line. Man, it might be today. It literally might be today that this thing starts to shit. And I'm not just saying that because we're what, like 5% away from the top already? 6%. Um, anyways, anyways, I feel like I've said my piece on this. I do think it goes lower. I think that this isn't the top. It's going to go higher from here, but then it's going to go lower, right? Because I just, I can't seem to be right on this thing. And where it goes, when it goes lower, I would expect that it takes these lows out. I would not, it could even take this low out. That That is possible. Just because I think it goes down here doesn't mean that it's not capable of taking that low out. When I say it, I mean blue zell. Because if we take this low, nope, that's not, that's, not at all what I was looking for. Um, if we take that low there, we put it to this high, the 618 is right there at the low. It's literally right there. Can we go through the 618 and into the 0.69 right in the sweet spot? Absolutely. Could we go all the way down to the 786 right here at about six cents just below it? Absolutely. Or the 886? Sure. All in all though, I wouldn't expect that we take out this low. I don't even know if we're gonna get close to it. So I would be more of a fan of saying like somewhere near the 786, this previous area of resistance would make sense to me um, at the bare, like at the absolute lowest. Previous area of resistance, previous area of support here, kind of nothingness over there, previous area of support, right? So it would make sense to me, but, but well before that, I'd like to see what we're doing at the 618 around 7.8 cents, 88 cents to the 6.9, which is right around 7 cents itself. We might not even get that low. Let's just monitor this thing as it goes down, as volume picks up. I really um, am not expecting too much higher of price growth if it does go higher at all, because we do again have decreasing volume throughout all of this. I just, I've, I've seen this time and time again, enough times to uh, have confidence in saying that likely what we're gonna see is a move that takes us again to the bottom of this overall kind of consolidation range which it is consolidating. It's just consolidating to the upside. You know, that's, it's kind of like its own little price range, right? Like if this is a price range here, but it's, it's flat. This was a consolidation range here. And then we moved down, right? You had another one here. This one even sloped upwards a little bit. Um, anyways, I'm just, I'm just talking now. So without any further ado, if you guys like the video, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to see more. I do think that Blue Zell is about to shit the bed. I've already told you where I think it's going somewhere around seven to I guess seven to 11 cents really, but probably closer to that seven to eight cent area is what I'm looking for. Um, yeah. Take care, everybody. Have a good day. Bye-bye.